Right then guys, we're going to try this ballistics calculator. You're doing this with me the first time. I haven't tried it yet, hand on heart. So I don't know if it's going to work or not. I am expecting to have to slightly tune the ballistics calculator once we've got these results, but we'll see. So that's my 17 yard zero. And I just want to show you how well this camera deals with a back, uh, sorry, with a black and white background during the day. Um, I've got Hick Micros, I've got Pard, and none of them deal with a, a white and black background that good in the day. So I just wanted to show you that quickly. Alright, let's just check this zero. So first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to pop the rangefinder up. You won't see this on the recorded footage. 17.3 yards, use the shooting solution. And I'd say that's on zero. So now I'm going to pop back to 10 yards. Let's focus it up. And we're going to pop the rangefinder on. And 10.8 yards, it's given me a shooting solution. Shoot one there. So yeah, works close. So now, we'll refocus it. As you can see, that says 30. Um, pop the range finder on. 31.3 yards. So I'm going to go for the ball with the shooting solution. Hopefully you can see that. We have got a little bit of wind here. We're out in the open. Refocus it. That's 30 yard shooting solution. So we're going to just adjust this bag slightly. And we're going to pop over to the 40. We'll focus that up. Hopefully you can see that guys. Let's not forget to range find it. That's the rangefinder on, and it's given me 41.2 yards. It has given me a shooting solution. Look at the way that's grouped. I don't know the holdovers and hold unders on this scope, honest to God. All I'm doing is using the shooting solution. Now it is off, and I did say before. I am fully expecting to have to tune this BC. So we're going to move the back just a touch more and we'll zoom it in. Focus her up. We'll go a bit more. And this is 50 yards. Let's get the rangefinder on. Just zoom out so I can see it properly. Range finder on. And it's given me a solution of 52.4 yards. It is quite a drop on this. So. I think the wind's taking that. But. They're still, they're pretty consistent in height on each target. They're just moving up a little bit, but I think the wind's taking that across. Um, hopefully you can see on the blades of grass. There is quite a bit of right to left wind here, but I'm going to tune that ballistics calculator, hopefully come back and we'll get back on it. Right guys, before we go on to the next segment, I just want to explain very quickly what I mean when I say I'm going to tune my ballistics calculator. Now, you saw me in a previous video set up my ballistics calculator. I know that the feet per second of my rifle is absolutely spot on. I know that the scope height, etc. is spot on. The thing that I'm talking about when I talk about tuning my ballistics calculator is the ballistics coefficient of the pellet, the BC of the pellet. Um, now, 
I genuinely believe that the BC of a pellet is different in every single rifle. It'll only be ever so slightly different, but if I have two rifles sat by side and I use, let's just say the big FX radar that gives you the ballistics coefficient of, of the projectile that you're shooting, they will be slightly different on each gun. Now, I'm using uh, 15 point something grain. I, I can't remember off the top of my head what they are, but they are JSB Hades or Hades in 2.2. Now, JSB advertised the ballistic coefficient of that pellet, the BC of that pellet, as 0 0.024. Now, you're going to have to bear with me and use your imagination. I've come up with this. So, when you use your LRF and it gives you a shooting solution, you shoot to that shooting solution. So, you place your shooting solution here and take the shot. Now, it doesn't matter about your zero. You, let's just say, for argument's sake, you zeroed at 20. It's absolutely spot on. So you put these targets out at 30, 40, and then 10, and you test them. So let's go for the 30, 40, got this target out, and you shoot this bullseye with your um, shooting solution here, and the pellet lands high. That means the pellet's doing a lot better than the ballistics calculator thought it would do, and it's holding its trajectory. So you go into that ballistics calculator and you change the BC of the pellet. Now I do this in 0.0.2s. So on the Hades, it's 0.024. So if it was shooting high, I'd adjust that 0.024 to 0.026, right? And you will see the pellet strike come closer to the bullseye after taking another shot. Um, I'd go back into it, 0 0.028. And I'd just keep doing them fine adjustments until I were putting a shooting solution on here and that dropped into that bullseye and then I'd know the BC was correct. I'd check it and uh, confirm it on the next target. If it's too low or you, you're putting your shooting solution here and it's dropping low, then it's, it's doing worse than predicted. So what you need to do is lower the BC. As I've already mentioned, mine are 0 0.024, so I'd move it to 0 0.022 and take another shot. And then if it come up halfway, I'd, I'd change it to 0 0.020 and just keep making them adjustments until it comes to the bullseye. So that's what I mean when I say I'm going to tune my ballistics calculator. It's the ballistics coefficient of the projectile, the pellet that you're using. Guys, I've been trying all morning to get past 40 yards consistently. Um, there's nothing wrong with a the rifle, there's nothing wrong with the scope or pellets, it's the wind. It's absolutely howling up here, it's horrible. Um, so what I've done, I've got spinners at 10, spinners at 20, target at 30, target at 40. I've got my ballistics coefficient on the 2-2 Hades, tuned in as best I can to 0.029 which seems to be working. I need to do this indoors or on a calm day, but this is awful. So I'm just going to show you. So my zero is 30 yards. So that's where we're going to start. We'll get the range finder up. 31 yards. We'll zoom in, focus up. It's starting to rain now as well, guys. We'll go up to 40 yards. Focus up. And we'll get the range finder on. And we'll obtain a shooting solution. So that is, well, it's giving me 43 yards for some reason. But we'll go with that. It's close enough. Focus up. And we have a shooting solution there. And you can see both strikes there. So we'll come back. Sorry, I'm going in. This is 20 yards. Focus up. Range finder on. We'll get a solution. That's 20 yards there. Let's focus up a bit better. 
We've got a solution and we're using hold under this time. Right, so now we're going to come down to 10 yards. Let's bring it all the way back. And we'll focus up 10 yards. We'll use the rangefinder to get the solution. And that's dropped the solution quite a bit there. So you can see the ballistics calculator is working fine, um, 10, 20, 30, 40, but I can't seem to push it past 50 and that's not a fault of the ballistics calculator, the gun, um, the pellets, that's a fault because it's the wind, it's just taking far too much wind to be able to accurately show you. So there you go, you've seen it working, it works from 10 to 40, I really was struggling in the wind. I think Hades or Hades, however you want to say it, I call them Hades, they they really don't do well in the wind at all. They are a pest control pellet and they're meant for close range, so they really don't do well. I'm going to keep playing with the ballistics calculator off of camera and I'm going to get it absolutely spot on. With that in mind, the next video that I release will be a pest control video. So if you're not into that, then just please don't watch it. I've taken you as far as you want to go, that's fine. But it is a rifle scope and this is what it's meant for. So the next video that I'm going to try and put together will be a pest control video. So that's it for now guys. Take care, thank you and hope to see you again in the future.